Man, look how good these guys are at building stuff. My god. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are playing Kafurgra. Just kidding, as you can see, the base is getting filled in here and it's spelling out the name Rampart. This is a classic old Atari game uh, from the arcade era. It's kind of like a shoot 'em up meets puzzle game. That's how it's described online. Which basically means if you think of Missile Command, how you had to kind of shoot incoming missiles that were coming towards your base, it's like that, only there's going to be some base building elements. So in some ways this is kind of like a, a ancestor to, to base building games like Command and Conquer and Warcraft, things like that. Because um, it has sort of some of those elements, but it is uh, it, it's also going to have sort of a puzzle element to it. One interesting thing about this is in this game, ooh, look, okay, we're getting a little intro here. We'll let this play out for just a second. But in this game, you get to build a base, and it's not only about where you build a base, but how you build a base that determines if you're successful. So, okay. I inserted a coin here. Let's get started. I'm going to be the blue player. This is a game that you could play multiplayer, as we just saw there in the intro. There were two players playing at once in the kind of demo. And this game was apparently a pretty big hit back in the day. It was released in 1990, and it, was, it ended up being ported to tons and tons of systems. Okay, we're obviously going to go at the beginner level, because that's where my skill is for a lot of these old games. But well, this was ported to Nintendo systems, to Sega systems, to Commodore 64s, to... What else is it ported to? PC? Okay. So if we pick a base that's near the coast, we're going to have to be shooting ships that are coming to attack us. Near the coast is good because we can have an easier time hitting ships, but I have a feeling it's going to be bad because we're going to get attacked more frequently. So I'm going to go ahead and select something out here. Now it's built a little wall around my castle here. The next stage is I get to position a few cannons. And so I'm going to do this. If you can hear the clicks in the background, I'm using my fancy schmancy new uh, arcade kind of controller setup that I, that I purchased, which I was so excited to buy because until now when I've been playing these arcade games at home, I haven't been using real arcade controls. And I definitely wanted to start doing that to better capture the feel of playing these old games. Okay, so we had a brief attack phase there. Now we're into a repair phase, is what they call it. And here you just have to place as many walls as you can, as rapidly as you can. Okay, thanks for the hint. Let me actually do it. Um, crap. Do like that. Like... That, like that. That is like the, the crappiest repair job you've ever seen. <laughs> Luckily, they fill in the gaps for you. So this game cycles between these attack and these repair modes, as you can see. And I guess every time we go through, I get a few more cannons. And then we get about 15 or 20 seconds of me shooting the hell out of some pirates here. At least I assume they're pirates. I don't know who these guys really are. Uh-oh, this guy's gonna land. We can't let them land, oh no! When they land, they let out like army dudes that come and interfere. So we do not want anyone reaching the land. Oh, but we won. Okay. Use joysticks to select battlefield. Um, I don't know. Is that a good one? We'll do this one. <laughs> they all kind of look about the same to me. So obviously with these old games, not a lot of story. It's not really clear what island we're on or why we're protecting whatever we're protecting. I do kind of like this this base building element. It's kind of a fun idea. I only get two cannons this time. That's rougher. There's a lot more ships. It is also interesting how the game kind of like goes through like a a like simple render mode for the building and then it like gets more fancy during the combat. Uh oh, tons of ships landed this time. That's problematic for me. Okay, maybe no dudes came out just yet, which is good. Oh, look at this. This is how you repair a base, guys. 
gonna do that. And that. Boom! That's pro repairs right there. I don't know, can we keep going? Can we steal this castle? I guess if you build up a larger territory, you get more points and possibly more cannons. Oh my god, look at all the boats! We need a hell of a lot more cannons here. So I said the base building elements of this kind of strike me as though this would have given rise to uh, things like Command and Conquer and Warcraft in, in some way. Boom! Jeez, look at all the ships. What happens if they, they hit land? Oh my god, my walls are like gone. They're decimated. Okay. Well, what are those little dudes doing? They're totally getting in the way. They're cramping my style. Get out of here. Okay, this is like, if you walked into a castle and it had walls like this, you'd be like, what is going on? Is it going to fill in the gaps? Blue Army defeated! I guess I didn't fill in enough gaps. Okay. Let's insert two coins and continue, because we're not going to let, let sleeping dogs lie. That castle didn't work out for us. Let's go over here instead. So this game definitely probably inspired some later base building games. One other thing it obviously inspired, though, are tower defense games. These games are so common these days. It's really interesting that that became a genre, because I remember before it was a genre, like it, it maybe to the odd game that was sort of tower defense-y. Don't let that guy land. But it was never considered like a full, you know, it wasn't popular or widespread enough to be like a full genre unto itself. So it's really interesting how things changed over time and it really became a genre. Okay, I'll do this. I'm trying to like take a whole bunch of territory this time around. I feel like that's going to be key. I'm going to have a lot of territory. I'm going to do this, do this, do this. I wonder if there's like, there's probably, what's defeated? What? Okay, let's insert, I'm gonna insert four coins this time. We're just gonna, we're paying to win. We're buying our way to victory. We're the spoiled little prince who could not take defeat for an answer. All right. Four beastly cannons. How am I getting stuck? Oops, that was a mis misplaced place. How am I getting stuck on level two? Come on, go down. Man, I, you definitely do not have tons of time to be shooting. It feels like there's never enough time. Okay, this. I guess I really gotta like seal this place up here. Or I risk defeat. Okay. Do this. Oh, these stupid Tetris blocks. Those L's. Like these literally are Tetris blocks. It's funny. We're going to try and totally steal that other castle if we can get to it. Slowly building our way over there. Don't mind us. Ah, oh, this sucks. And there's only room for one more cannon. Because I placed the first one so poorly. Oh, man. It's an interesting idea to, like, cycle between these... Um... Ah, oh, damn. These, like, building and attacking phases. I feel like there's never enough time, though, to build, to, uh, to attack. It's like I'm always short on time. Uh, oh no. We need room. We need room to expand or we're totally going to die. If you can't expand, you die. Oh, man, these pieces suck. Oh, man, what am I supposed to do with this? Did I just die? Am I dead? What? How are we supposed to do this? I thought that was a pretty good wall. And also, why does it matter if the wall is not totally complete? There were no opponents around. Do the people in the boats just like look at my castle? They're like, yo, dude, you got a hole over there. We win. Like, what's going on? 
I bet these aren't even pirates. They're probably like merchants. They're just here to like sell me silk. Or maybe they're like the traveling sales people of the day. Oh, cleared them all. Come on, that's gotta be a total victory, no? Ah, more coming. I wiped you guys all out. You traveling salespeople, you should they're probably Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, the stupid L pieces. Oh god, and the Tetris piece. I'm like, there's a huge gap in my wall. I, I'm probably defeated. Okay, well at least I got that castle. <laughs> Do all the other cannons just go away? Man. So those... Oh god, so now I have one cannon to do all this? Ridiculous! Because the other ones aren't sealed up in the wall. Damn. Okay, I, th I think I see what's happening here. Whenever a ship touches land, it kind of like ends the round. So what I really need to be doing is stopping any ship from touching land. That should be my mission. God, this wall is the worst. <laughs> Come on, seal this stuff. Come on, I have like one dot that's sealed in. I totally lost. Oh man, okay. This is like shockingly difficult. I guess we'll go right here. Oh damn, look at the territory it gave me. Okay. We can do this, guys. We are military geniuses. There's no way that we... No, 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 he's gonna end the round. That's, I, I can't get over there fast enough. Yes, okay, we cleared them all. That was good. We needed to be closer to the beach. That, that was the problem here. Okay, do this. Do this. This. Do this. God. If that little corner piece is going to be the end of me. I'm going to lose all those cannons. There's nothing I can do. Give me like a, a two piece vertical. And I just lost. <laughs> that stupid little gap down there near the cannons. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Damn. Okay, we, we got to give this like one more good try. This is not a game I feel like we're going to have to play very much longer. But we, we really need to, to give this an honest shot. We have to get past level 2. I would be happy with level 3. Okay. Uh, definitely going to stay on Recruit, though. When I was reading about this game, I read there were only 6 levels, which is not uncommon for arcade games back in the day. But I did not think that it would be that difficult to get through six levels. <laughs> I thought, six levels? My god, people must have got so bored of this game. But when you can't beat level two, I guess that throws a big monkey wrench into it. I was thinking about this game when I was reading about it, how it's a combination of Missile Command in a way, but it sort of adds more complexity to it with the, the base building elements, obviously. And it got me thinking about how it's interesting how video games are kind of constantly trying to become more complicated. That seems to be the one unifying mission behind uh, game design, is make it more complicated, more sophisticated. And I was thinking about how it's not always true that a more comp... Okay, we get, we get it. Let me do it. Let me do my thing. Oh man, we're there. We're totally losing this. Six seconds. Give me just a little more time. A little more time. A little more time. Come on, fill in that gap. It's one little hole. God, I feel like they give it to you on that first level because I don't think that happened in later levels, and that's why I was losing. The hardest part of this game is not shooting the ships. It is building that castle. But anyway, games seem to try to become more and more complicated. That's what they do. 
And in a way, more complicated gameplay can be fun, but it can also start to detract. Like, it's not like the simulation. Okay, screw that, we've been there. Try this one. It's not like the simulation genre, where games are so, so utterly complicated that they borderline on just living real life, has really taken off. It seems like there totally is like a sweet spot between being complicated, but also being accessible. So it's interesting to like look at a lot of, to go back and play a lot of these really basic games where, I mean, they struggled to have too much depth at all. They were very simple in concept. But in a way, the, it's the simple games that kind of hold up. Like the, the mechanics of this game are not bad. I would argue that if they gave me more time to build and they made building a little easier, this could be a very fun game. And if there was, you know, some kind of, obvious bonus towards getting other castles and stuff like i have 17 seconds what am i supposed to do it's impossible right now okay do this do this i don't know like i, I have eight seconds left seven seconds left oh dear god am i actually going to to do something holy crap i can't believe that that was a panic place at the very end look at all the ships I'm never going to be able to shoot them in 10 seconds. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. This is chaos. This is like totally like a last stand. Okay, now what do we do? Look at our walls. They're just like scraps. Oh, guys, we're screwed. We are screwed with a capital S. There's no way I can build fast enough. I'm trying so hard. Okay, now we gotta go down here, here, here. I think that's a gap over there. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. There's like one little corner of a gap. Come on, give it to me. Oh, you son of a... Oh. <laughs> I can't get past level two. I cannot get past level goddamn two. Well, I don't know if there's too much point in continuing to play this game. Good old Rampart here. Rampart is an interesting name, by the way. I really wonder what that word means. I kind of want to look it up now. Because I know that Rampart was like a code word. You no, know, it was the name of like an anti-drug team in LA that turned out to be wildly corrupt and the cops were like using drugs. And that was the inspiration for the show The Shield, which was originally called Rampart till the LAPD complained because they didn't want to get a bad rap because of The Shield and so they changed the name to Shield, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea what Rampart actually means, but oh my God, is this a difficult game. I mean, part and parcel, most of the arcade games I've tried have been difficult. The arcade era was very tricky. I don't know if it's a matter of people these days don't have the skills to really master these games or if it was a different philosophy of game design because back in the day I guess when you could only design a game that had six levels you didn't want people getting bored so you had to make it very challenging. These days you know I just bought Mario Maker the other day and you bring it home and like every level is supposed to be beatable to have a level that what? What, 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 what? Holy crap, they were rotating blocks? Oh my god, there's another key. I'm an idiot. We gotta go back in one more time. My god. You can rotate blocks? That changes everything. Oh my god, we might be able to beat level two. Okay, take it back. Sometimes the game is hard because you're an idiot and you don't know all the buttons. Okay, this is it, guys. This is Jay's Redemption. The Blue Army, whoever we are. Defending against the, uh... Whoever, whoever's in the ships, the merchants that want to sell us silk or the Mormons who want to tell us about their god or whatever. This is like medieval door-to-door -door salesmen. We don't want them. Not in our town, bud. I wish the, uh, the targeting wreck people moved faster. That is one more complaint, I will say. Okay, are these guys going to go down or what? Boom! Okay, I'm psyched for this. This game is kind of like a weird mesh between... Oh, look at that! We can totally rotate! This changes everything. So much easier. So much easier. 
Oh my god, I have time to spare. I'm gonna take this castle too, just for funsies. Oh man, that's so much easier. Okay, if you play the game... <laughs> oh man, if you play the game properly, it's it's a breeze. Well, not a breeze, but it's, it's easier than playing it poorly. Oh man. We're gonna decimate them. I'm so excited now. Look at all the functional cannons. You guys, you're done. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna take me like one volley to wipe you all out. Oh yeah, here you go. Here you go, buddy. Oh yeah. Redemption. The blue army conquers. We technically didn't conquer anything. We kind of just defended. Okay, let's go back to the one. This is the level we we're having trouble with. I mean, it's not like the levels really matter. They're just slight changes in the arrangement of uh, of land. Okay, we're going to go with this castle. I like the look and feel of this one. It's far enough away that I don't feel like they're going to be able to hit me easily, but close enough that I'm going to be able to mess with them very, very nicely. Putting in a backup corner right now. These guys. I'm totally missing everyone. Okay, I got two ships. That's not great. But I'm so excited to be able to build properly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's a breeze. Um this and this <laughs> oh yeah I'm so excited that I can actually play this game now do you guys ever find that like sometimes you have a game that you think you know how to play and like a friend will come over and you'll hand the controller to him and you'll be like wait a minute how are you doing that and he's just like figured out something that you had no idea you could do in the game that's uh, that's kind of what, what we're experiencing right now Man, look at the, them all. Okay, they're totally gonna unleash little dudes that are gonna interfere with me. I know it. Okay. This. 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 Do this. This. Do this. Oh man, not even a challenge anymore. It's gonna take a whole bunch of territory. Ah, oh, I almost locked that up. That would have been so sweet. Two more cannons. I'll take it. Damn. I'm really having a hard time hitting those ships. I think because my cannons are too far away. Nope. Nope. You guys go away. Uh oh. Oh no. The base building is not going so hot this time around. I feel like they're giving me bigger and bigger pieces. Which makes it harder and harder to do stuff. Okay. No oh, crap! Ugh. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> okay, one, this is very last try. And then I'm gonna wrap up. What, what have we learned here today playing this game? I'm gonna go closer to the beach, by the way, so I, I can actually maybe try and shoot these things before they, they land. I think we have learned that old games are hard. This is something that is not news to people. I think we've also learned, though, that even though these old games are difficult, they had a lot of fun, interesting gameplay mechanics. I mean, I'm finding that more and more. Yes, I got them all. Um, old games constantly surprise me that they have more to offer than I think I originally go in thinking sometimes. Okay. This, 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 this. This is what we need. 
Yes. Ah. Okay, well that one's a shoe in for next time. I'll be able to lock that castle up. But yeah, these old games, they have some stuff going on. Some interesting gameplay elements. Definitely were very creative back in the day. I think they were also kind of geared slightly differently to be much more difficult. And I think that is basically to make sure that people didn't get bored of games as quickly. Or maybe they just... It was an earlier time in the development of games, and the idea of making games accessible wasn't really there yet. Games were still sort of meant to be something to be played by pros. It's my hypothesis anyway. Okay, we need, I don't know, here, here. Oh no, we're not getting the pieces we need. No, oh God. Terrible building job. I should not be an architect. Well, even being able to rotate the pieces, this is a very difficult game. It is not a shoe in by any means. And I think I'm going to end it there. I've had my fun with Rampart. I'm glad I tried it. The pros of this game are it does have a very simple and interesting gameplay mechanic. I feel like I'm just not a fan of how quickly or difficultly difficultly is that a word how difficult they made the game in its implementation the idea of having to build and circle other territories while fighting off hordes is kind of cool actually and you can also see where the inspiration for tower defense games came out of this but is this a game you should play before you die i would say no but i would say i know there's super nintendo and pc ports of this that are more advanced I think are a little easier, have more features and bonuses and stuff. I would say that is a version you should try if you like these little games. It's funny, these days, this would almost be a mini game and a larger game. Like, I could see that whole combat situation being part of a, a game where the larger game is simulating building a thriving civilization or um, castle or city on an island and having to manage resources and stuff. When the barbarians attack, you go into this. So in a weird way, this could be a, a game mode or a mini game of a bigger game. Um, I could also see it be like a mobile game. And I'm sure there's a mobile version of this. So if, if the idea behind it kind of seems cool to you, definitely I would say give it a try. It's a fun little interesting game. Man, look how good these guys are at building stuff. My God. I wish I was, <laughs> I wish it was that good. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, because I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and you don't want to miss that, do you? Until, I, until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves. Oh, let's uh, let's just end on watching a, a one versus one. Ah, oh, it keeps, keeps titillating us with it, but not actually doing it. Come on, show us them fighting. Show us them fighting. Yes, here we go. All right, until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves. Peace. Oh, they're aiming at each other. Here it goes. They're unleashing the, the horde. They're, I guess you just have to shoot the walls. You would think you'd have to shoot the cannons, but I guess it's the walls you want to take out. And how do you figure out who wins? I guess when one person can't. I guess you need to strategically knock out little holes in their wall. Well, that's interesting then. That's cool. All right, guys, till, till we meet again, take care of yourselves. Peace. But these aren't even pirates. They're probably like merchants. They're just here to like sell me silk. <laughs>